Hi, I'm Fred Sokolow, and this is a lesson on finger-picking the songs of Buddy Holly. Buddy was a good finger-picker and a good guitar player, though he was better known as a songwriter and a performer. And, you know, Buddy was in on the ground floor when rock and roll was kind of being invented and put together as a form of music. He was only with us for a few short years, had a whole string of hits, and uh, influenced other people that came after him very much. Uh, the first Beatles and Stones records, a lot of them were just covers of Buddy Holly tunes. And pretty much every rock performer ever since has credited him as a, as a, a major influence. We're going to start with uh, one of Buddy's most famous songs, Peggy Sue. And we're going to do it in drop D. So let me give you uh, the notes first in standard tuning, and then we'll take the six string down for drop D. So here's your low E. <laughs> And your fifth string, the A. Fourth string, D. The third string, G. Second string, B. The high E, first string. And we're going to take the sixth string down, tune it down to, you can match it to the fourth string. Sometimes it helps to get a harmonic on the 12th fret. So we'll start out with Peggy Sue. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you know why I feel blue without Peggy. My Peggy Sue. Ooh. Oh, well, I love you, girl, and I need you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, oh, how my heart yearns for you, but I, Peggy, my Peggy Sue, you know I love you, girl, and I need you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, my Peggy, my Peggy Sue, you know I love you girl and I want you Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, oh how my heart yearns for you, my Peggy, my Peggy Sue, you know I love you girl and I want you Peggy Sue, you know I love you girl and I want you Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue was a real person. She was Buddy's best friend's girlfriend, and he later wrote a song called Peggy Sue Got Married, and they made a really fun movie by that title, too. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the chords in Peggy Sue now. There's four chords in Peggy Sue, and because of the drop D tuning, things get a little altered. Uh, the, the open D is, is normal, the regular D chord, except you can use the, the bottom string. And that's one of the main reasons for drop D, the ba low bass D note sounds great with it. When you play an A chord, you just avoid this sixth string. And I play my A like this, you're going to see 
two fingers on here, but I'm still covering all three strings. I have real fat fingers, so that works. That's easier for me. But you can just play a normal A chord if you want. When it comes to the G, you have to cover the G note up here on the fifth string, on the sixth string on the fifth fret. And sometimes you're fretting the first string, and sometimes the second, and the second can move around up here with your little finger. That happens in the tune when I'm playing the, uh, the lead, the solo. There's also a B flat where, you, where I'm doing it like this. Whereas I use my little finger. Most people find it more comfortable to do it like this. And I'm just, again, not picking the first string because the first string doesn't really go well with that chord. It's a B flat sixth rather than a straight B flat major triad. So those are the chords we're using in the tune. Now I want to talk about the right hand, about the picking patterns. Uh, instead of just a straight alternating uh, thumb pattern that you do in a lot of blues, I'm doing a, kind of two different things here. Sometimes it, it devolves into this. Just, and other times the thumb does drop down and alternate between the sixth and the fourth string. Like this. Slowing that down. Probably occasionally I'll even get more grace notes in there. Getting a little first string in there. I'm just doing all of those. Probably what you're hearing is in between the vocals, there's more action, more finger picking. And during the vocals, it gets a little bit simplified because I'm filling up the spaces that way. So uh, we're going to slow down the tune. I'll play it a little bit slower and we'll split the. Uh, screen so you can get a good shot of both hands and see what uh, each hand is doing. So here's a, a little slower version of the different parts of the two in Peggy Sue. If you knew Peggy Sue, then Hey. 